Wasp, please leave. Come on. I opened the door for you. Good morning. Today is resupply day and I can't wait. My parents we're meeting Diana and I at the Spooner Trailhead. That's in about 10 miles. So we woke up fairly early and we're trying to get a good start on the day so that we can meet my parents um, in like late afternoon. Everything seems to be going great. I'm feeling okay, I'm really dirty, I smell, and you know, my clothes stink, and I'm tired and my body hurts. But I still love being out here. It's kind of crazy. happy to report that we passed the 100 mile mark. So it feels like it's been a little slow moving, but we've been working hard and we've been pushing ourselves and so 100 miles feels pretty good. Now we have just about 70 or more to go. trail continues that way but if you look over here on my left there's a bench that I think I'm gonna sit at and enjoy this beautiful view Oh no. Oh no. Where are you going? What if it just like flung onto my face? Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's trying to, he's gonna try to get some food. Okay. Nope. I'm, don't, don't jump on me. Look at it. It's gonna, it's gonna try to go to my pack. That lunch spot with those views was top notch. That was incredible. The lake is so blue and it looks so like silky and smooth and you can see all the boats out on the lake. It's just really, really, really nice. Um, but I had to force myself to leave. I have about five and a half miles of downhill to Spooner Trailhead where my parents will be waiting. Um, there are our little trail angels, so we have all of our resupply food all ready to go, and so we can just like swap that out. Um, we won't be doing any more miles today because the next section after Spooner Trailhead, um, there's no camping for 16 miles. So we're just gonna wake up early and do that tomorrow and just camp by the trailhead. So we only have like five and a half more miles to go today, which is really nice. Sort of give our our feet a break only doing 10 miles but i'll take what we can get so yeah that just was absolutely stunning if you can't do like a tahoe rim trail through hike or anything like that i definitely recommend trying to hike up um 
from Spooner Trailhead up to these views because it's just spectacular and you have to see it in person. It's just so beautiful. All right, I am about 0.9 miles from the Spooner Trailhead. I have service, so I was able to text my parents and they're here. So I told them, I'm like, you guys should hike some of the trail and meet us. Um, my mom's like, I don't know which way to go. So I told her that, you know, we're hiking north, so they should start hiking south. So I'm hoping I'll see them at some point that they didn't go on the other side of the trail. But yeah, very excited to almost be done for the whole day and to get a nice cold drink because I'm almost out of my water. I did really well rationing it, but I could use a cold drink now. There they are, the trail angels. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. Well, just walked up half a mountain and I'm dying. <laughs> half a mountain and she has her purse. You look I, cute. I have your iPhones in your... That's Diana's. Diana should be coming around soon. Here's a little water cache at the bottom for all the hikers who are not stopping here because of the no water stretch. Isn't that nice? Dude, this is like the nicest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that's pretty great. That's so awesome. Look at where you guys came from. Look at yeah, the side. We we were doing we do that all the time. We'll get in we're like we climbed over that exact ridge or whatever, you know? Yeah. Look how far you guys have come. Man. Where'd they come from? Over yeah, on the other across. side of the, of the lake. In the park, resupplying. It's quite a mess. Mm -hmm. Mom, try to put the pack on. <laughs> it's too heavy. Oh, uh, yeah. Full, that's like about five and a half days worth of food and three liters of water. It's pretty hefty. It's very We're ready. We're ready to go. Woo! So today didn't go quite as planned. My parents dropped Diana and I off at um, the Spooner Lake Trailhead because we thought, you know, camping at Spooner Lake would be great. They have an area with picnic tables, water, um, trash boxes, bathrooms, all of that. So we walked there and turns out that we're not allowed to camp there. So we had to walk all the way back, which was pretty far and then we had to walk along the highway 50 um, back to the Spooner trailhead and camp at the trailhead so we're literally here with other cars and we pitched our tents in the picnic area um, we met another hiker and she's here with us too so um, our night of just swimming in the lake and resting our feet and just having a grand old time didn't happen so um, yeah we walked a lot and it's dark and we're just gonna try to go to bed now so definitely didn't go as planned but oh well what can you do um, we're gonna get up early and try to get that stretch done where we're not allowed to camp and just make the most of it so that's about it see you tomorrow mm -hmm.